Brad Evans. Brad, um, it's kind of a reoccurring story. You guys, the last couple of matches, you guys have really played hard. You've dictated a lot of the pace of play here today. Great offensive effort, getting 27 opportunities, but, you know, in the end, just not able to get that result. Kind of, um, you know, just your thoughts. Um, incredibly disappointed in the fact that, you know, winning has become so hard for us, and that's not something that, you know, we ever thought would happen, but it has, and so, um, you know, I am proud of the team for the way we came out. The, you know, it was a combination of bite, but we tried to do some things that were more than just play hard, be smart, and play with some skill, and we created enough, but you got to be good enough, and, you know, um, you know, their senior keepers has been good all year, and, you know, we, we seem to run into a lot of senior keepers in the MAC this year who have been solid and stable. Um, you know, that being said, giving up two goals in 30 minutes isn't good enough. We've given up two goals in each of the last two games. Whatever, whatever we say, we've got to get better. Um, you know, um, there's not much more you could say. I can't cry. Players feel bad. I feel bad. You want to, you know, feel bad, but it is what it is. You know, it's another loss. It's uh, just our path this year, and we're going to have to learn from it. Whether it moves on, we move on and learn from it Sunday or move on next year, I don't know. But mm -hmm. we're going to learn, and we're going to move forward, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. what, what has kind of been... Um, with the process of the offense has really picked up its intensity, mm -hmm. and I thought the midfield played a lot better today. Megan Connor, mm -hmm. Megan Topoleski, uh, Jerry Shuzinski really, you know, played hard for 90. All three played all 90 minutes and really kind of dictated the getting the ball to the forwards. And sure. um, you know, do you feel like they're progressing? You know, it's kind of late in the season, but they are showing that signs of improvement to um, where you want them to be. Yes, um, I think that's what they're capable of. I think the challenge for us is being able to knit together a team where all lines and, are firing together and playing well together, and you know whether it's goalkeeping, backs, mids, forwards, whatever you want to call it. You know, it's well enough to have the center mids play well, but now we don't convert or finish. You know, or it's well enough to have you know the backs play well, but if the mids don't play well, now we're under pressure or the goalkeeper makes an error. It's got to you've got to be able to as a team be able to feed off of one line's success and do your job well enough, and that's the grind of it. And if there's an area where we haven't been effective, is grinding. You know, staying mentally focused for 90. Um, you know, and that being said, you know. We, we play one senior big minutes mm -hmm. you know so there's a lot of young players out there who are playing for the first time their biggest roles no excuse you know we have to be better um, but we, we get up tomorrow morning and we go after it and we, there's no quit and Mm -hmm. um, the goal, your goal score. Um, <laughs> just one of those, like two years ago, I mm -hmm. think that's Against how you beat Nicole Jurjic, yep. uh, scored that goal, you know, and route to a match yep. championship. Um, you know, just Kika Hernandez kind of in the right spot at the right time, kind of a sure. similar situation, I think, at Ball State last weekend. Mm -hmm. You know, just uh, she's kind of your energizer bunny. You know, she's to talk a little bit about her. Kika reads the game well, always has. Um, you know, her, her background in the game allows her to read the game well. I think for her, it's being able to play quickly enough given the tempo and the pace of pressure of the college game. And as she sort of eases into it each year, the faster, you know, the more she adapts, the more effective she is. Um, you know, I think it's interesting through all of that, we didn't convert some of the chances we had. We had quite a few chances from close range. Um, you know, so it's maybe a bit of a story of what we didn't do offensively while we created. We didn't finish. And soccer is like that. When you've all been a part of a game where you have the run of play and you lose 1-0 or mm -hmm. lose 2-1 like this. And, you know, credit OU. They stuck with it and they did enough to win the game. And, um, you know, good for them. And, uh, you know, we, we just try and do better next time. And uh, final question. Fast forward to Sunday. Sure. Um, senior day the last home regular season match for uh, six seniors. Um, just how important it is just to come out again and have that that right mentality of, you know, playing sure. hard for 90 minutes and grinding out against a very good Kent State team. 
You know, I, I think you honor your seniors by playing that way all year. You know, you're playing for them, not for a single game, but for a season. And I think that our seniors have done an excellent job. I mean, you could see it in their eyes today, the disappointment, you know, whether they play or not. They're invested in this, this team and this program. And I, my heart breaks, you know, when things don't go well for them. You, you really wish it could go well for them all the time. But that's life. Um, and we'll come out and we'll, we'll recognize those seniors for their contributions. Um, you know, but then the game takes shape and, and it's soccer, you know, mm -hmm. after the first few minutes. Um, you know, but our hope is that we've honored them well enough by competing for them throughout the course of the year. And, you know, history will judge whether we've done a good enough job or not of that. Well, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. And best of luck on Sunday. Thanks, guys, for coming out.